The University of Applied Sciences Leiden and Trompenars Hamden Turner Consulting bring you 100 plus management models. A book and website that helps students and managers to value and apply the world's most powerful business tools to create a better future. Our selection of theories and tools is based on eight dominant fashions in management science since the Industrial Revolution. Innovation, benchmarking, HRM, strategy, diversity, customers, sustainability, and leadership and communication. Let's begin with the end in mind, sustainability. There are many kinds of sustainability. And there are many kinds of efficiency. We all see Grand Prix racing cars racing around the circuit. We've all sat in a car, pressed the accelerator, and got this great surge of energy. And surely this, this is a nirvana. This is, this is what it's all about. Well, perhaps not. I think our children's children will look back at us with horror. Because let me give you one statistic. 99% of the energy of any motor vehicle is used in moving itself, and 1% is used to move us. As far as resource efficiency is concerned, that's just about as inefficient as you can possibly get. That wastes the world's resources on a mammoth scale. And, and the price we pay for this great surge of power that we love so much is to use up too many of the world's resources until we'll have nothing left. What have we left our children? So sustainability begins with resource efficiency. How can we use raw materials and energy far more sparingly? How can we leave a world fit for our grandchildren to live in? That is the problem. Innovation in the book we take as combining values that are not easily joined, therefore scarce, therefore profitable. The whole book goes into First of all, what are the tensions? And let's reconcile those tensions, which we call the reconciliation of dilemmas. That's pure innovation. Innovation is like Apple combining functionality with aesthetics. And that is very difficult to combine. It's to make a fast car safe. That's innovation in our take. Strategy is about creating a path towards your organizational goal. And this goal can be defined as a mission statement or a vision statement. To find your organizational goal, you can look inside out to your core competencies, or you can look outside in to the market, the competition and the customers. We learned from Professor Mensberg that there are many ways, at least 10 schools of thought, to define your strategy. Personally, I like the approach of Jack Welch, the manager of the 20th century, who said, pick a goal and implement like hell. And our advice is also, don't forget to communicate your strategy, because otherwise your stakeholders won't follow. Due to globalization and digital connectiveness, you know it, LinkedIn, Facebook, we're all connected. Um, diversity is an important component of our book. Um, according to a report from IMF, it is forecasted that in 2017, Asia and African countries um, will be the leaders in annual economic growth. So it's not a choice anymore to think about diversity, it's our reality. The customer is one of the most important stakeholders of our company. Element 5 contains questions like who are our customers, what do they think, how do they live, how do we make our customers satisfied and how do we get satisfied and loyal customers, and of course, how do we persuade our customers to buy our products or services? HRM as a function has become a topic in conversation. But organizations often wonder why, uh, what is the added value of people? And we believe that, for example, human ideas are essential for innovation. So from this perspective, HRM has become a strategic challenge. All organizations need results. The problem is that we often disagree what to measure and how and when and where. We need instruments to know where we are, like we use a clock or a compass. Kaplan and Norton showed us 
that not only money defines success. The challenge is to find the dashboard that helps your organization find the right path towards performance. In the book we have talked about leadership throughout. Um, there are many, many definitions of leadership. But one thing is true, is that most leadership approaches are culturally biased. The only thing that goes beyond culture is how leaders recognize the difference between a problem and a dilemma. And then when it's a dilemma, they try to reconcile it on a higher level. That's the essence of leadership. Now let's zoom out again and take a look at how these eight fashions connect. Together they form a model in itself. The Sequential Excellence Model. This model offers a framework to reconcile insights and dilemmas in management science. The purpose of a cycle is to enter it at any one point and still have it make sense. What we have is a means-end continuum. Every means is also an end. Every end is also a means to an end beyond it. And we go round and round and round. And what we're trying to do is to teach people to think in circles, like yin and yang. The Chinese, the East Asians are already thinking circles. It's their folk wisdom. And unless we catch on quickly, we're in deep trouble. And the circles form helices, and since there's always at least two parties, they form double helices. And, and in the end, our model is a double helix, which of course is the template for life itself. <laughs> 